I was sitting down, and there was this lizard, I think. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, cut the camera, cut that camera. It almost went into, like, my clothes. I was like, ah. It's, it was scary. Hi, my name is Siri, and welcome to another video. I'm finally not in my car. Finally. And also, I have great news right now. We have an intro. Yeah. Let's hit that intro. So today I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys asked on Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, well, let's get to it. So the first question is from Songbird. What's one of the best dreams that the Lord has ever given you? I really don't know what she was asking. Maybe like dreams like other stuff. I don't know. Like dreams, you know, whenever you sleep. Or like a dream, like a goal, like an accomplishment. So I'm going to be answering both. So like the dream. Um, I know a lot of, some people get dreams from God, you know. But I'm not one of those. But one time I did have this dream. Uh, about this elderly lady she was sitting right next to me we're in like this random living room and I was like getting anxious because I did not know where I was um, but little did I know it was about to become real <sighs> I'm currently like helping an elderly couple and that was literally the house um, that I was about to live in um, at the time I did not know what was going on but God was like, Sarah, calm down. Like, everything's going to be fine. When the word of God tells you, like, everything works for the good of those who love him, it's so true. Like, I didn't know that I, where I was living, I was, like, drowning in, like, a lot of things. Um, and he took me out of there, and he put, put me here and to live with this elderly couple. Uh, but that's another topic for another video. Uh, they also asked me for a testimony video. I'll probably do that later on, but not right now. It's going to be a long video. <laughs> probably divide it into. Because, you know, God's always working and keeps working on things with each one of us. The other kind of dreams, like goals, I guess I would say. Um, my parents are missionaries. As if you could, if you watched the previous videos, I guess I mentioned them in one, I think. Anyway, but yeah, uh, and something that God has put in my heart is to help the Tlapanecos. Um, they have a Bible school. If you want to go check them out, I'm going to link some links. Uh, right now, like, they have, uh, they're teaching them to be, like, missionaries or, like, pastors and stuff. But they don't have, like, um, anything else, you know. And I feel like, yeah, all of that is great. It's amazing, you know. But I wish uh, we could step it up and help them to get, like, a degree or something like that, like an associate, uh, so that they can support themselves, like, uh, economically as well. Because that has been, like, one of the problems that has been going on. Like, if you could pray for them, that would be amazing. As time goes by, like, there's people that leave, you know, because they realize that they're not going to be able to make, you know, as much income as, you know, people that work and they choose to forget about God and they choose to pursue other things instead of what God called them to do. Our second question. Uh, I went to school for a little bit. How have you been? That's Miracle. I remember you, Miracle. Yes, we went to school together. I saw that you're having a baby. Congrats. Uh, that's another step of life. I hope you enjoy it. And I'm doing great things, God. Um, Life has been good, honestly. Uh, God has been good. Uh, and if it wasn't, it's God's still good. So, um, you know, ups and downs, you know, it's, it's life. But we've been good. And I, I'll communicate with you soon. In what ways do you find it's a struggle walking with God? Uh, personally, I think for me, since I've been walking with God, I guess you could say a long time. 16, no, 
14 years now. It's hard sometimes for me to, like, focus and grow. You know, like, you've known so much of him that it just becomes, like, a daily thing. Like, you don't even... You don't even put as much effort as you used to whenever you, were, whenever you had your first love, whenever you were, like, really into uh, the word, you know. And um, it is a struggle, you know. It's an everyday thing. And I guess for every Christian, it's just to, like, uh, to, like, keep keep running, you know, the race. Like, Timothy, like, Peter, no, like, Paul, sorry. <laughs> like, Paul was telling Timothy to keep running the race, you know, and, um, I guess that's the struggle for me, just not to start to eat solid food, you know, God calls us to keep going, you know, um, not, don't get stuck, and there's points in my life that I've been stuck, and I thank God for people that has put in my life, that has encouraged me, you know, and just to see others having uh, a relationship with God that, that is passionate about it, you know, especially, like, people that just came to Christ, it's just so encouraging to see them, you know, because it wants you want to go back to that first time that you fell in love with God. I love y'all, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, what I do is that, um, first of all, I try to pray because there are some days that I don't want to seek him, you know. It's like, God, here I go, reading again the same story, you know. But in that same story, if you really, like, are willing to open your heart and let God talk to you, um, you're always going to learn something. And that's something that you need to constantly ask God to put in you, you know. Like I, like I was saying, uh, there's this verse, uh, it's in Philippians 2.13. Uh, Philippians is talking about, well, the second one that section uh it's talking about t- to grow you know in our salvation uh and it says in two thirteen. uh let me see if i can remember but if not i'll put it right here um but it's pretty much saying that god puts the will and the act to do to fulfill his purpose um because it's like god please uh help me to remember that i need to seek you we're still humans. Sometimes we can get distracted, distracted with the things that this world offers. Um, maybe you don't fall like super bad, you know, but it's still sin. Um, and we need that constant reminder. We need God to remind us. And sometimes that means that things are not going to go great, you know, but God loves us so much that he corrects that he is willing to correct us, you know, like, to, to say, hey, Sarah, come on, what are you doing? (laughs) And to remind us that we still need him. Reading the Bible is very important, uh, yeah, like, on a daily, because if you don't read his word, I had my Bible right here. (laughs) Wow, Sarah. Yeah, just reading the Bible really helps you like to understand who God is and what he wants you to do. Uh, so I really recommend that if you don't do that, please do read the Bible. It's amazing. It will change your life. A favorite verse. My favorite verse right now is um, as the intro, you know, Psalms 115. Uh, one, I think. <laughs> Uh, but it's not to us, not to us, but to you, maybe the glory. That verse is like a constant reminder, Sarah, it's not about you. It was never about you, you know? It's always about God and what he has done for us. And last question, what is your favorite Christian resource besides the Bible? Besides the Bible? That's a good question too. Melanie, thank you so much. There's this book that I really like. It's about like worldviews and stuff. Um, I was, I took this course on, in high school. Uh, my senior year, it w- it really answered a bunch of um, questions that I had. I'm not sure if you can buy it, but uh, if I find the like the course or the videos, is so interesting. Like I was shook. So every time I have like any questions and stuff like that, 
I try to go to like my high school notes uh, but also like this book that my professor recommended if you're like interested in all about like apologetics and stuff like that it's pretty interesting I'll put the book right here you can go check it out there's so many flies that's it that's the video of today I hope you'll enjoy it and um, yeah not to us but to your name be the glory to your name be the glory not to us have you guys heard that song? So good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Go check it out. <laughs> Bye. Not to us. But to your name be the glory. Not to us. Not to us. But to your name be the glory.